Suresh Samuel of AWS has come up with this AWS Management Console Private Access and also has released a cloud formation around it. The problem he is trying to solve is that if you want to restrict your users from your own corporate network to only few select AWS accounts, then you can use AWS Management Console Private Access. What it means in other words is that if you want that whoever is on your corporate VPN or your corporate inter internet or from your on-prem, they should be able to select only the AWS accounts of your own company. Because right now, from your corporate network, if you allow AWS access, then anyone can access any account or by any account, I mean any AWS account. So if you want to restrict them, you can use this AWS Management Console Private Access. The way it works is, is actually quite simple. It is using AWS Private Link, which uses AWS Backbone for all the traffic, so your traffic doesn't go to the internet. Now, in order to get it implemented, you can use this CloudFormation template from Suresh, and I will share the link in video's description. In this template, what is happening is that first you need to create a VPC interface endpoint in US East North Virginia region for the AWS console because that is where your console is. And then your IAM services are also there. So this is the first step to create an interface VPC endpoint. And this cloud provision template has all the resources which I'm going to specify and you can go through them. So once you have your interface, then in the next step you need to do you need to create a policy around it and in that policy you will specify which accounts or OUs organization unit if you are using AWS organization can access which accounts okay so that is I believe the crux of this whole solution is where you're using private link and its policies to restrict users to a few of the accounts once that's done then it comes um, to rerouting all of your on-prem or your corporate network users to these accounts in order to do this first thing you need to do is to create a route 53 resolver inbound endpoint in that vpc and then save the I public ip or elastic network interface of that endpoint not the public ip and then you need to forward dns queries for the console from your on-prem network to these IP addresses, which are the IP addresses of Route 53 Resolver in point at point. Once that's done, then simply create a Route 53 private hosted zone with records for the console and sign in subdomains, and that's pretty much it. And then there's all left is associating the private hosted zone with the same VPC that has the Resolver in point, inbound endpoint. Now that's pretty much it, what this is doing. Now also be aware of cost of it because you would be paying private link pricing. And then if you are aware, um, the private link pricing is based on the number of hours that the VPC endpoint domain provision and which could really get out of the hand pretty quickly. Um, because I think that is around 0 0.01 dollar US dollar per VPC endpoint per AZ and that is per hour. So um, if you have a lot of accounts, lot of availability zone, and lot of endpoints, then you can imagine this would just multiply very quickly. Anyway, um, this is not the price you need to keep in mind. Then there will be pricing of Route 53 Resolver inbound, which is quite expensive. And then um, there are also DNS queries to the inbound endpoint, and then you have to pay for Route 53 hosted zone. Okay, um, so this is it. As I said, uh, I will drop the link to this CloudFormation template in video's description. So if you want your private access to your AWS account from your own company's network, then this solution could help. If you have any questions or feedback, please share it in the comments. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you.